Today we are going to be going over everything we know about the C8 Corvette ZR1. This video is all you need to be up to date on the ZR1, so make sure to watch it till the end. If you want more Corvette ZR1 news, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Release As we detailed in an earlier video, the Corvette Instagram account posted a video of the silhouette of the C8 Corvette ZR1. In that video that was posted on April 10th, it clearly states that the reveal will be happening in the summer of this year. This probably means the Corvette will be revealed in a big event sometime throughout the summer, hopefully leading to the ZR1 being released for the 2025 model year with production starting at the end of this year. Active Aero According to online news outlets, there has been some reports that the parent company of Chevrolet, General Motors, has applied for patents on some specific piece of kit that we may be able to see on the ZR1 and later the Zora. If you are familiar with Porsches, you already have an idea of how active aero elements like splitters and wings can be beneficial for added downforce. This technology has not yet found its way to any Corvette, but these patents do give us hope that we could see it on the C8 ZR1. If you are not familiar let me give you an example, if you have a wing with active aero elements, like in Porsches, you can press a button to make a part of or the whole wing tilt downwards which obviously increases downforce, or when you want faster acceleration and speed, then it could be set to be as straight as possible lowering the amount of the air resistance that it causes. This would be a fire addition to the Corvette ZR1. Before we get on to more information, if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate it. Expectations According to news outlets, we do see that there have been some prototypes made of the Corvette ZR1, which should give us some ideas on what we can expect to see. From the pictures, the main addition we can see is the addition of a hood scoop, which is almost certainly going to be functional. The best part of the Corvette ZR1 is its engine, and we expect the ZR1 to come with a 32-valve twin-turbo flat-plane crank V8 engine which is similar to the Z06, but with two turbos added to it. The general expectation of this engine is that it will create around 800 to 850 horsepower and 700 to 800 pound-feet of torque, which is a sizable increase when compared to the C8 Corvette Z06. When we look at the changes we have gotten for the ZR1 of previous Corvette generations, there are some things we can expect to be the same for this C8 version. First on my list is like the C7 generation, the ZR1 should get an even wider body than the Z06. This would make the ZR1 look even more aggressive on the road, but also bring the ability for the Corvette ZR1 to get even wider tires than the Z06. These tires could help the ZR1 have even better traction and grip on the track. We can expect even firmer and stiffer suspension than the Corvette Z06 and the Corvette Stingray. The final addition we can expect would be the addition of ZR1 badging, exactly like the C7 ZR1, and for it to be everywhere including the back where the Corvette script would usually go. If you can think of any changes that I have missed, for sure leave it in the comments section below and I will make sure to pin it so others can see. Pricing The Corvette ZR1 will definitely be one of if not the most hyped and capable cars on the market. Therefore it should come at a premium price, but it may actually be a deal for what it is and it's at a fraction of the price compared to its competitors. We can expect the C8 Corvette ZR1 to start from around $150,000, and with options it should be easily able to hit around $200,000. It should also have a similar trim layout to the E-Ray, Z06 and Stingray, with the trim 1 being the base trim but with good standard equipment, the trim 2 being the mid-level trim which is a good deal for the kit and price, and the third trim being not much more than trim 2 but with better materials. If you are like me and cannot afford this beast, the Corvette Stingray market is going down, if you want more information make sure to watch the two videos popping up. The ZR1 will be a great car but for 99% of Corvette drivers, the Stingray is more than enough.